Happy spooky season, dear friends of the world. You're in for a treat with this video. Do you like ghosts? Do you like the paranormal? Was your favorite Pokemon as a child the ghost types? Well, I've got a special treat for you because today we are joining the Deadwood and Black Hills Paranormal Investigations for an exclusive 90 minute tour of Deadwood's most haunted location, the Adams House. Now, for a quick little recap, if you've never heard of the Adams House, it's with Wendy, not the iconic family from the olden TV shows. But the Adams House is located in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. Deadwood was the site of the last major gold rush in the continental United States. The discovery of gold in 1875 led to the founding of Deadwood the following year and brought enormous wealth and notoriety to the area. Now on to the actual house. Built in 1892, the Queen Anne style home is well known for its oak interiors, hand-painted canvas wall coverings, stained glass windows, and all of the original furnishings. The historic Adams House Museum is located at 22 Van Buren Street and was built by the Deadwood entrepreneur Harris Franklin in 1892. It is reported in local newspapers as one of the finest in Deadwood and west of Omaha. Harris actually sold the home to his son Nathan in 1905 for $1. Yeah, $1. Why is this place considered very paranormal? Well, in 1920, W.E. Adams bought the home. Adams and his brother arrived in Deadwood in 1877. Adams found gold money not working out and went into business with his brother. Adams eventually took over the business and grew into a successful grocery wholesale business, and therefore W.E. Adams became one of the most richest men in Deadwood. However, tragedy had struck. Adams' wife Alice, diagnosed with cancer, had traveled to California to be with their daughter Helen, who was about to give birth. Whilst there, Alice had passed away. That stress from her mother passing had caused Helen to go into premature labor. She gave birth to a girl. Once again, that stress was too much and Helen had died. The baby, also named Helen, lived for only a few hours. W.E. Adams had lost his entire family in less than 48 hours. So, you may ask, what happened afterwards? Well, W.E. Adams had become the richest man over the years in Deadwood, and he saw the need to give back to the community that had given him so much. He donated the money for a museum, which was completed in 1930 and the Adams Museum is popular to this day. On June 7, 1934, he had suffered a stroke and was brought to his home where he died on June 16, 1934. These investigations are still going on and evidence has suggested that they can hear whistling in the house, children's voices in the smoke room, a woman humming by the staircase, and even footsteps running back and forth up the stairs and the doors closing by themselves. And today, we might be able to see some of those. So I hope you're ready, strap yourselves in my friends of the world because we're about to dive into a paranormal mystery of Deadwood in South Dakota. So Mary had an interesting life. Um, at age 10, her father was murdered up in Leed. Um, so she was from Leed. Um, she was married in 1917, or no, she was married two years before that, so 1915. Um, in 1970, her first husband actually passed away from the influenza epidemic that was going on at the time. So by age 19, she was already a widow. And then she married W.E. in 1927, as I said, in his room. Um, and then he passed away in 1934, so she was only 36 when she was widowed for the second time. Um, but she was a really, really great woman. Um, they were happily married for seven years. And then there's a picture over here of some flowers. This is, we think, downstairs by the fireplace. Um, when W.E. passed away, his wake was held here at the Adams House. And then his body laid in state at the Adams Museum. Can and we take pictures? That's him. Huh? Can we take pictures? Uh, you can, no flash. No flash. So okay. if you want me to leave my flashlight up. So oh, no, you're fine. Okay. Where is he in Turtle at? California. He's in California? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Farther I go to him, it drops. I'm cold hearted. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good reason. Keep those stairs in mind because I'll talk about them downstairs. Mm -hmm. Now there's an amazing story behind that guy. Or if there's anybody else in here, will you please show us your presence? So that's Mary and then Mary and W.E. 
we've smelled your lovely perfume. We'd love to hear more from you. We could, if people are willing, you could touch them. I am. I'm a clairsentient, so awesome. I'm very sensitive to a lot of things. Are you sensing anything in here today? I've just sensed her, even then I smelled her perfume. She's just, she seems like a very warm and loving person. Mm -hmm. I feel bad to hear what happened to her. She was very, very frugal. Oh That's yeah. I'll talk about that downstairs. Oh, where we got some changes going on. In a good way, in a good way. Oh, so, yeah, so it looks out. like we have temperature and pressure going off right now. Thank you for interacting with us. Oh, you're very sweet. Do you like us talking about you, Mary? <laughs> awesome. oh. We love talking Thank about you. you. I'm glad you can join us. Thank you. Hey, Mary, could you set off one of the other other uh, equipment? She likes that one. <laughs> I like it too. Right. That's oh, a pretty. Do the blue thing before. Yeah. Really? It's nice. Picture. Somebody else. Puppy? Oh, that could have been a puppy up here. Jumped around a little bit. Oh, kitty cat. Hey, 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 just a few things to Mary. He left the house its contents, I think roughly $60,000, and a couple automobiles, which he was worth a lot more because he had a grocery store empire in Deadwood. He came in 1877 with the gold rush and started one grocery store and then uh, started the second wholesale grocery store. So he did super, super well for himself. Um, so Mary was left the house and she never actually stayed here. She permanently left in 1936 and she locked it up for 51 years. She would come back once in a while um, to uh, just let people in. She'd stay in the summer, but she would stay at the Franklin Hotel. Um, she would never actually stay in the house. Um, so she sold the house in 1987 to the Crossway family, and they operated it as a B&B until 1992, or 1993, excuse me. Um, then they sold it to the city of Deadwood, and it was operated as a B&B until 1995 when they decided to turn it into a house museum. So restoration was complete in 2000, that's when it officially opened to the public, um, and the restoration funds were um, matching funds from the Minister Preservation and the Adams Masterbitch Family Foundation, which is something that Mary herself set up, Masterbitch being her third married name. Um, Mary died in 1993, um, she also took the money that W.E. gave her and she invested it in early IBM and Walt Disney stock. Um, so she was like super, super smart and that's why I said she was frugal. Um, over here we have these cookies. They're not multi grape nuts. She saved a lot of things and would repurpose them. So those cookies are super old. They were here when the house was sold from Mary. So. Um, yeah, those are kind of famous, like people talk about those mm -hmm. kind of contours. Walk really easily. Yeah, hide away. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and freeze on the ceiling is really absolutely beautiful. Much better in the daylight. And currently they're playing with my hair. Yeah, I was about to say, there's a tall man standing right behind yeah. you. So WE likes to hang out in the library, we found. Um, and WE is very tall. He's a very tall man. Yeah, yeah we, I can see his, I can see his shape. So the story of the fire that took place in the gentleman's smoking room. 
So in 1895, Nate or Harrison and Anna Franklin were celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary on January 1st. And so they were going to have this big party, and uh, unfortunately, a fire broke out in the gentleman's smoking room. There was an oil stove that got tipped over, and so they were unable to put it out with water. So Harrison and Nathan ended up putting out the fire with a very big, expensive Turkish rug. And so the stairs that I pointed out to you guys were added after that as a secondary fire escape. Um, the original way to get up into the smoking room, up into the gentleman's smoking room, which we don't show anybody except during this event for those psychic readings. Um, so there's nothing up there, it's attic storage, but it's still kind of cool to get to see it. Um, so anyway, the stairs go up through the maid's room, so it was really hard to get up to that. This is usually the room that people experience short little cold spots on the floor so that's something that happens you'll also sometimes see shadows in these doorways that's why i put the periscope down which is okay but is, is there anybody in here with us right now that would like to contact us someone keeps messing with the cane oh, oh shoot someone I keeps like touching it who's playing with her cane <laughs> is it a puppy that thinks it's a stick? It's a big stick. Oh, oh no. This <laughs> is a puppy that's for fetch. He was a German shepherd, and I'll test Rose when we get out of here. Yeah, I'd be curious. Yeah. Oh. They like my cane. It might yeah. be too close to the cane itself. No, I was away from the cane. I was away from it. Okay. Yeah. Just... Is there anybody else in here with us besides the puppies? Can you bark for us? Okay. Here, you can here. do that oh. for me. Oh, I was going <laughs> to... Put that down and we'll see if the dog here? is coming near. Yeah, maybe they'll come here. Come here, puppy. Oh, look, 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 look. <gasps> Whoa. Look. What? What? The, 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 the... the milligoss is going up. Yeah. No, come back. The, come, come back. back. Come, puppy. I'm going to see you. Come here. Let's see. come back up. Come yeah. on, puppy. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come here, Patsy. Patsy. Come, come here, here, puppy. Oh my gosh. I just saw eyes. Are you okay? Oh my, they like the cane, damn it. <laughs> it looks like they just like oh, ran into it. Spiked, it spiked again. <laughs> it's a big stick. <laughs> that is so crazy. I see like a lot of movement. And then we'll go. Oh, the periscope's going off. Yep. What? Do you want us to stay in here? Nobody puts that kind of detail in houses anymore. Nope. I love a house like this, minus the ghost. Oh, I take it. I'm going over here, away from the mirror. Yeah, I don't stand next to mirrors. I know what happens. <laughs> they really like you. They like the cane. <laughs> the dogs love me.